Well, good morning, folks, and welcome back to the vlog. This is at the start of this glorious bank holiday weekend. So I thought, you know what? I'll pick the camera up and bring you guys along. Got nothing planned. We're at home, I think. It's early Saturday morning. Just about to put the kettle on, have a coffee. And I've got a few jobs to do this weekend. I think the fam's out today. I think they're going shopping. I've got this job. I've got... Yeah, I have this to lift off. And I'm going to start cleaning that out. And we'll get that rigged up so we can uh, some tub time as they say so uh, that's my first job of the day it's a glorious day out here do you know what i'm just thinking about it i might pop down to the shop get some food and cook al fresco outside today what do you reckon that sounds a bit of a plan for today and just chill a bit of football i want to want to watch tonight other than that guys i'll just keep picking up the camera talk to you about my food intake this is sort of a couple of weeks after you've seen the one that I've published, if that makes sense, where I'd lost some weight. I did carry on that for the week after that as well. As you can see, the cold's fabulous and a lot better. Got over that, as you do, because, you know, you've got to be a man about these things. So, I'll just say you're taking in the sun. And I'll tell you what, just look at this, hang on. <laughs> Caramel latte, some cereals. In the sunshine. You can't get better than that, can you? We're just, uh, one of the things we're looking at at the moment, you can see we're sat on, on, on this. We're looking to replace this with a bigger one. And one of them brollies to go in this space here. That's why we've moved the hot tub. Chair seating area, or maybe keep it this side. Some chairs. So, that's the plans for, stay there. That's the plans for this weekend, to get some ideas for that. But in the meantime, I'll have my coffee, finish my cereals, pop to the shop, get some stuff to do. I'm going to cook some lunch out here on the cooker, I've just decided. And then clean the hot tub out. So I'm going to finish this coffee in the sun. See you in a bit. Oh, can you see me? Are you there? Tick, tick, tick. Right. First job of the day, as you can see, I'm obviously just popping out in the car. Now, as you saw just then, I'm sat in the garden and we've mentioned the patio set and we're looking. So we're looking for a corner piece, like a rattan thing. A nice table, coffee table idea and a rolly to go over the top which we keep looking at, we can't make our mind up just now. However, we um, decided on some like, just some normal chairs, i.e. some recliner chairs that you can just sit in the garden and chill in the weather. So we've been umming and ahhing, thinking about it, looking around as you do. I think you've got a deal online and then you've got delivery, which takes it more than it would be in a shop. Anyway, long story short, wife don't know this, meant to be going down to pick up a scripture and pick some food up, which I'll still do. But I'm just going to pop to the shop where we saw these chairs that we like and I'm going to buy them. Surprise the wife. Isn't that nice? So you're thinking, we're in the summer, it's roasting hot, we need to... Uh, which way is it? I've just gone wrong. In the own village. Sorry, it's busy that road where I normally get on. So anyway, so that's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to go pop, pick up these chairs that we liked, if they've got them in stock, because obviously the sun's out, everything goes out of stock. So bear with. See what happens when we get there, eh? Now then, still me, I'm on the road. It's literally a five minute journey to where I'm going, but it's bank holiday in it. Look, just look at this. Bumper to bumper. I'm moving a little bit better now, but oh my God. Yeah, my bad, it's bank holiday. Don't come out on bank holidays when you're just popping into town and overtake them. Good news, they had two in stock and six in another store. So the store where they're at is where I work, so I can pick them up this week. For now, chairs sorted. That's how you shop, right. Let's get back home. Right, it's later on in the day. I've put this off long enough. I need to uh, take the lid off and give it a clean. So I'm just gonna whip round, unclip it. I'll bring you back, show you what I've got to do inside. Right there. Right, I've got the lid off and yuck. Yuck. Mm. It's no good. I'm gonna have to get in there and get scrubbing. Right, let's get in. Right, now, let me just bring you up a little bit. Right, I've been looking online about the best way to clean said mess. And I'm told, dishwasher tablets because they don't foam up. So just drop a couple of them in there. Hopefully they will dissolve down. And then basically microfiber cloth and lots of scrubbing. Right, I'll see you in the tub. It's just taking five. I think you can see a difference. What do you think? Started sort of there. Still got marks on it, but better than that. So uh, done this bottom bit. It's gonna be a long job. I can feel it. Hey ho, you wanna sit in this and be nice and comfortable and relax with the bubbles on? Gotta put the graft on. So get back to it. So I've just taken a break. I've been around it once in the hot tub. Still needs to go down. Now we're at it. I'll do a bit more tomorrow. Anyway, in other news. So today, you saw me go buy some chairs and we're looking to sort of tidy this patio area up here. You can see, let's use the washing. So we've got this, but it's kind of a bit broken and all that good stuff. And so we're running an iron whether to replace it. We've been around the shops. We've got, we think what we like. Kind of duplicated this, but a little bit bigger and a little bit better. 
quality. Anyway, my wife don't get to see these vlogs very often because she doesn't watch them, because I know. So, I've actually stuck my neck out today and bought a set, which is going to be delivered on Wednesday. Now I've just got to tell her. It was basically what we wanted, don't worry, I don't go out and buy big items like this on my own. Anyway, so that's coming on Wednesday. We'll see how that goes. I'll maybe show you in the next vlog. Anyway, when we're set outside as well, so you want it all nice, it's got a brolly coming with it and everything. Nice little table. And as you know, it gets chilly in the evenings and our patio doesn't get much sun. So, I've been looking for some kind of heater thing. So I've seen these, probably, ooh, probably seen them online quite a lot. They're called Solo Stove. Now this is obviously, like you can tell, it's a really small one, but apparently it's smokeless. So I bought this one, it'd be part of my camping gear, but I thought, eh, we'll try that. So I might try that. I'll try this later on tonight, but I'll unbox it now to have a look at. I'll put a link in the description to open the box. I'll put a link in the description, which will be affiliated. So I'll get a little bit of kickback. You never know, might make a bit of cash out of this one day. Anyway, let me just undo really quickly. I think too exciting, so, you know, talk amongst yourselves. The idea is you just keep it a little bit warm and hopefully smokeless. It's smaller than I thought, but it's in this little pot here so you can take it out with you into the outback or wild camping, wherever I may end up. Take it out like so, put that to the side and that's it. I've got the nice bluey colour, it's got that ring that goes on top. And I've got some pellets coming for it, but they're not going to be delivered for a little while. So literally, there's your base in the bottom, put your pellets in there, some other bits of fandango, little little stand. Yeah, that's the stand to stand it on, which I'll set it up in a minute. And then covered by this is watch the videos. So in the bottom of there, that goes on the bottom. So that get into pellets in the bottom. And then once it's burning, that goes on, I think that way. So in theory, it burns with no smoke. Right, let me just set it up as in on the table and have a look at it and then we'll but maybe turn it on later on tonight like i say there is a link in the description I'm trying this affiliate marketing malarkey you never know could be earning 10 grand a month don't forget to link hit the link if you want one see you later so you can see me i didn't pick the camera up anymore tonight i've had the burner on over there but you can't see now but that's it for saturday join us tomorrow more fun in the garden and that's about it for the evening I had a good night I had a takeaway had some friends over so i didn't pick the camera up much so uh, i'll see you tomorrow see you for now <sighs> oh good morning guys here we are sunday morning a bloody tree it's coming up to nine o'clock now so i've been up a while but grass cutters were out this morning in force two of the neighbors Good job we're all early risers. Anyway, welcome to English summer. Right, more of cleaning this today. It's Sunday, don't know what else we've got lined up. Was gonna do a cheeky weigh-in for us, but um, my scales have stopped working, so I put some new batteries in. Now these look down here, Absolutely. that's a bummer. So we're gonna have a fiddle with them, see if I can get them working. If not, does anybody know any decent scales you can buy? Anybody wanna sponsor me or send me for some reviews? I'm more than happy to oblige. So I need to know what my weight is, because I do, have a little cheeky waiting on a Sunday, don't I? Anyway, I'll have a fiddle, see if I can get that sorted. Other than that, the sun's not out today. It uh, just feels a bit cool and grey. Come on, Summer, come back. Anyway, I'll bring you along for the day, see what we get up to, and uh, that's it for now. See you in a bit. Oh, good morning, and you join us. Bank holiday Monday now it is. Again, apologies for what I finished on last night. Got into the evening. Oh, my God, can I just say, this weekend, food, I think two, two takeaways in a row. Was it three? I can't remember. I don't want to remember. Anyway, it's Bank Holiday Monday. The weather's sort of like a bit of an anticlimax again. I thought this weekend was going to be like really hot and sunny, like Saturday started out beautiful. Anyway, we've got the hot tub set up. Let's go have a look at that. And I'll take you outside as well, because it's quite chilly. We had to go to Pop to B&M yesterday to get the old uh, tabalottos for the uh, hot tub. Oh, and yet, yeah, Oh, been out here, sat out last night. Again, I came out right, came out a little bit to get me old uh, burner going last night. That's burnt away. Got some pellets, but uh, it was absolutely freezing, so I didn't stop out long. Anyway, let's check the uh, hot tub out, give that clean. And we are on. She's on 39 degrees. I'm guessing it feels warm on top. I'm guessing that's nice and warm now. So uh, let me just put you down because I need to take the lid off. Well, 
open the open the lid up and just do a chlorine test on it. Give me a minute. I've undone it. We've got the test strips out, ready to test. Just realised that there's about three left in them. So I have Una in my hand. And now it's just a case of it feels warm. Dip it in, pull it out. There's the colours. Literally down. Actually, I'll give it a bubble as well in a minute just to mix the chlorine up. Sorry, can you just sit on there for one second now? So you can see me, here we go. I'm trying to balance you on a bobbly lid. Right, crooked, no, the wrong way. Now it's broken. These Joby pods that break. Sorry, hold on. You go down there and that should be. Try and take the washing out of it, eh? Is it gonna have it? Oh, I just have to say like that, just while I do the reading. So you line it up against the side and that's telling me that it is really heavy on chlorine. The pH level, just a little high and the alkaline is probably, probably okay actually. So I just put that, see that on there, so yeah. Which I expect, because you've shocked the water, so it'll be quite chlorine-y for now. Anyway, I'm just gonna put some bubbles on and see how we go. Right, so it locks off. Noisy, two sets of bubbles on. Hopefully, we'll give that a whiz for a few minutes, and then I'll do another test quickly, because that will determine. Gonna mix the chlorine up a bit, sound perfect. So just gonna mix the chlorine up a little bit, let it settle, do another reading, and then guess what? We should be in there this afternoon. Right, I'll leave that running. Come back to you. Right, that's a good bloody tripod. Right, that's another good five minutes of uh, agitation. A strip on that and then leave it. And we'll get in it later, hopefully. Look, one left. I guess I need to order some of them when I get back inside. So, blank test strip, it on. One handed. Beautiful. Right, pocket for now. Lift the lid. Oops, talking like a bloody cowboy. Right, and it's as simple as find the water. It's about a quick dip out. As you can see, that's gone purple straight away, which tells me loads of chlorine in there, which I did put in to shock it. And then uh, now we just need to check it against the tub, which I already know everything looks okay, but let's have a look. So, so you've got your chlorine, which is really, really strong, which I knew it would be, which that will burn off. The pH level, again, is high, but that will drop down as that does. And then a the total, so yeah, I'm sort of happy with that. So that will burn down during the day if I take the lid off it and bring it down. If not, I could bring some, put some pH minus in it. However, so basically that's nearly ready to jump in. But before that, try not to get the washing in, but before that, there's a few back to earth. Bank holiday's nearly over, chores to be done. But yeah, first job after all the shenanigans of the weekend. Yeah, choo choo. Not gonna attempt that anymore one-handed, but got a pile of ironing to do. Now I'm gonna get on with that, get it out of the way. Yay. Okay guys, I'm just picking the camera up for one last time to finish off this bank holiday weekend. Been in the tub, been in there, it was beautiful. That's about it really, I'm back to work tomorrow. The kids are off for the rest of the week. So that's a bit of a bummer, but uh, hey, it's a four day week. Got to get it done. What else have I got coming up? Oh, next weekend. Hopefully, I'm not sure what day yet. But me and Ben, you know Ben, who's getting a regular on the channel now. Me and him are going uh, to the caravan again. So, see what Shigan Hagen's app brings. So, uh, yeah, just remembered. So, it's Monday evening, bank holiday. Work, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We might get to go a little bit earlier because we both can work from home. So, I could uh, work over that way and then we could get up to some good fun so hey i hope you've liked this guys the weather started off on saturday it was going to be a brilliant all nice and summery and outdoor and doing exciting things but last couple of days it's kind of been a bit of a dance squib we've had some friends over we've had some good laughs the food has been ridiculous i think we've had three takeaways i'm not gonna lie omg so the couscous is made in the fridge the huel is ready for me in the morning to get back on it so hey but that's it for now i'm gonna leave it here wrap this one up hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button and i will probably pick the camera up again next weekend to see what i get up to if you've got any ideas anything you want to put in these vlogs feel free oh and i do need to get some new scales by the looks of it because mine have broken so hmm and i was doing well watch this space anyway thanks guys see you on the next one bye for now